Hey friends, this is Angie from The Road to Simple. And speaking of simple, I am looking for simple ways to give during the holidays. Many of us are giving gift cards, cash. Sometimes that doesn't seem to be maybe as personal as we would like, but I've got some ideas I wanna share with you today on a way to package the gift cards that makes it a little bit more fun. So stick around. Welcome to my kitchen here in Louisiana. If we haven't met before, my name is Angie and my husband Bill and I live here in the South and we are working to reduce the number of items that we have and it's going to take a while but we are on that road to simple. So today I want to make, um, try to make this short and sweet if I can. I want to share with you some ideas for simple ways to give these items right here, gift cards cash. Sometimes you feel like maybe that's not a personal gift, but a lot of the people on my list, I know that's what they would just as soon have, especially the kids, they would like to have cash. So I'm going to try to come up with a couple of ways to package these a little bit different. I have a stack of gift cards, I've got some cash, and I have got together a few um, mason jars these are actually ball jars. Um, you could use jars from spaghetti sauce or something else, just a glass jar. So what I've got is some candy and some jars and some gift cards and ribbon and we're gonna see what we can do with these. So I have someone on my list that loves York peppermint patties. So I got a bag of those. And I have her a gift card for um, a restaurant that I know she likes to dine at. I am going to line these around the edge of my jar. And I'm going to put the gift card in. You can't see it from the outside. Fill this up with candy. Put it on my lid. So I have some uh, Christmas ribbon here that I'm just going to just going to cut a piece long enough to do uh, just a simple bow. Let's see if I can do this around here so that you can see it. a tag on here in a little bit but look at this and see what you think I think this would be a cute little gift and it looks like um, you're getting a jar of candy but when in fact there's a nice gift card inside and I'm not going to put this in a gift bag this is your gift bag the jar with the ribbon so no need to wrap it any further your gift is hidden inside the candy and it's ready to go. Let me get another jar. Um, I have a nephew that I'm going to give money to. So let's see, I've got $25 here. So I happen to know that my nephew loves M&Ms and Reese's and Twix, Twix bars. So I've gotten these things and I'm going to just layer a few things. And depending on the age of the person, um, you could put all the money in there together. If it was for um, a young child, I would put lots of small bills in there so they can hunt out all the different bills. Um, I did that one year with um, socks. I got my nieces and nephews kind of um, interesting socks. I think I've got them each like three pairs of socks. And I just filled each sock full of money. One dollar bills, some of them had quarters in them, some of them had um, five dollar bills. Um, but so they had to go through all their socks to see what they got for Christmas, how much money was in there. 
So here we go. Just tie a pretty little bow. And there you have it. Kit Kats, Reese's, M&M's all together here. I think that's going to be really cute. So you do need to be a little sneaky and find out uh, the people on your list what their favorite candies are. I kind of asked around and got that information. So some of the ones I'm going to have are going to have this candy, Junior Mints. Um, I've got M&M's. I've got Kit Kats. I've got all kinds of things. Uh, peppermint patties. So just make sure you get the favorites for people that you know and start filling. You don't have to just limit this to gift cards and to money. Uh, my sister uh, likes to do her nails. Um, so I picked up a couple bottles of nail polish. I'm gonna stick that in here. Let's see what I can put around it. Hershey's Kisses, you can get the, the bags that have a little bit of everything. For this one, I'm going to Try just a plain gold ribbon and see how that looks. Might should have cut this one just a little bit longer. Right there, now oh, that looks good. So if you look real close in this one, you can see um, the nail polish in there, but it looks awesome. Let me get a little closer to the camera so you can see it. So even if you can see what's in there, actually I got a kind of a silvery bottle. It looks really pretty, but um, let's give you a close-up look of it. I just think this is going to be really cute and fun to give and fun to receive. And again, the packaging is here. No need to gift wrap this any further. I will stick a tag on this and it will be good to go. I am trying to get rid of clutter in my house and I am trying to not store away things that I don't use or don't like or um, try to find a place for. So I know everybody's not in the same boat that I am and thinking like that, but when it comes to giving, I can still think like that. So what I really, really like about this gift idea is that it is a consumable gift. They'll eat the candy, they'll use the nail polish or whatever, or the gift card, whatever you decide to put in your jar, and it's gone. They don't have to worry, and you don't have to worry about you picked the wrong color, it doesn't fit them just right. Well, maybe they don't really like it, but they're afraid to get rid of it because they know you gave it to them. All of that is not to be worried about at all when you do this. It is consumable, it's used, it goes away, you don't have to find a place to put it. And that's something that I'm really big on the last couple of years. And the jar, you can reuse the jar, or the person can reuse the jar for something, plenty of uses the jar could be used for. It could be used for food, it could be used for nuts and bolts in the garage, it could be used for whatever. So I really like the fact that this is a consumable gift and it does not add to anyone's clutter problem. Another idea is chapstick. Uh, I've got these great Burt's Bees uh, chapsticks if you've ever used these. Lots better than regular chapstick. We like simple and done, right? I'm gonna put ribbons on all of these and then we'll see what they all look like. I also wanna invite you to stick around till the end for my slice of simple, just something quick and simple for the holidays, just because. Thanks so much for joining me today. I enjoy spending time with you. If you found this to be a helpful idea, leave me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. And also leave me comments on what you decide to put in your candy gift jars. Um, some other things that I thought of were movie tickets or if you had a really nice piece of jewelry in a candy jar, that could really be a great surprise for someone. Let me know what you decide to do. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel so that we can meet together and talk about more ways to simplify things. So I wish you the merriest of Christmases. I hope that you can keep it simple. Maybe you can simplify your gift 
uh, giving with this idea here. Maybe that'll help you to reduce some stress during the holidays. It has helped me, so I hope it helps you. Until next time, remember to keep it simple, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.